guys i hope you guys have been fine i've been fine as well just like you've been um if you're new here my name is Catherine Wamboy. if you like you can call me Catherine regina or Catherine courier or yeah aspiring journalist <laughs> so guys i hope you guys have been fine if you're new here may you get to stay by subscribing to my channel and may you continue to watch this content that i keep creating for you and for me and for i don't know all of us and i hope that it makes sense to you and that it is worth it and helpful okay if you are a returning subscriber thank you so much for finding my content worth the watch thank you so much for finding my content important that you always come back to watch more and more thank you so much i do not take it for granted may you continue to stay and may you continue gracing my youtube comments and likes and everything till we get to where we want to get so today i want us to talk about something um uh, relationship related i was torn in between talking about um some sanitary towels I got and talking about this topic that I'm about to talk about as you can see from the um, title but I think I'll talk about the other one later after I've sampled it Vizuri is a wrong judgment and wrong reviews okay so today I want us to talk about uh, losing yourself in a relationship okay you know People say love is blind. I don't know how, how true that is, but I think there comes a point that Uneza lose, you can lose yourself and not even know you've lost yourself. You can lose your sense of authenticity and your sense of realness in a relationship. You forget who you are. It's not... You don't want to be Kate anymore. You want to do things your partner's way, but you just find yourself doing it. And so today, I want us to talk about how to know you have lost yourself in a relationship. Of course, I have my notes. I don't just sit here and I don't just wash a camera and start talking. I, 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 I research. Okay? I research. I do my due diligence. So that means you are potese. So the number one thing to look out for to know that you have lost yourself, you never see your friends. The relationship should not take over your life so much that you do not see your friends anymore of course you have time with your partner enough time that the much time you want but do not lose your friends because you're in a relationship that tends to be some i think if i don't know how to put this because there are i've had people who um they are men or women, but mostly I think men, tell their women not to not to relate or not to interact with their friends. As in, you never have time for your friends anymore just because you're in a relationship. That way you know you've lost yourself. Because you, you had those friends before you got into this relationship. There is no... I don't see why you should lose them now that you are in a relationship and they're the same same people you will need at some at, at your point of need okay so the number one thing to 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 how you know you've lost yourself in your in a relationship is you do not see your friends anymore number two um you compromise your needs and wants for your partners okay um <clears throat> Saying yes to what your partner wants once in a while, uh, even when the condition does not necessarily suit you, is fine. Like, relationships are a matter of compromise and sacrifice, okay? But I manishi every single time, unakosa kufanya what you want, ndio ufanye, uyo ndio ufanye tenye ye anataka. You understand? It's a matter of compromise. Saying yes to, to, to vitu zingine kwa hiyo, kwa hiyo relationship, it's fine. But it's square every time you're saying yes that you've forgotten to say no. You don't have to always compromise. You don't have to always put yourself second. At times it's also okay to put yourself first. Okay? So number two is uh, you compromise your needs and wants for your partner every single time. Uh, but if you find yourself yeah if, if you find yourself always obliging to saying yes to your partner you have lost yourself and um i just have to <clears throat> i 
I just have to acknowledge where I got this 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 content from. I got it from fashionable step step mom's blog and i've ever mentioned here before about her blogs they're so nice you guys need to read she does everything from fashion to lifestyle uh to relationships to health all those things and i'm very very grateful that i came across her blogs because napatanga insights ya vitu zenyeneza about kwa hii channel so number three is you've lost sight of your goals and passions are you still pursuing your dreams are you still pursuing your goals if not ask yourself why that relationship might be toxic if mlipatana ukitaka kuwa photographer if mlipatana ukitaka kuwa business lady if mlipatana ukitaka kusema unataka kufanya your phd or your masters or you want to travel out of the country are you still pursuing those goals of yours? The goals you've had since at before pattern, are you still pursuing them? Or mlipatana goals zako zikaisha. I know you're just you're like you're just watching him work on his and yours you're not working on. Ask yourself whether you are or not. If you're not, then you have lost yourself in that relationship. Get back on track. Continue working hard for your for your for your dreams for your goals and this does not just go for women it's also men if you've met a woman and or a lady na umesahau goals dreams zako unamsaidia tu ku build zake you're supposed to think twice about that particular relationship so number four thing why how to know you've lost yourself if you can is you can't make your own decisions now Kwa hii point you need to understand what I mean. Asking opinions is okay. Ask for an opinion. So I want to do this, this and this. What do you think? That's fine. But if you find yourself who is make a decision by yourself, lazima mwingine akumikie, then you've lost yourself. Okay? And the uh, fashionable step mom was saying asking opinions is okay very healthy in fact actually uh, ukijipata every time unauliza opinion you you unapata nga trust in a build una build trust between both of you because you're not you're, you'll never find yourself doing anything behind your partner's back ati anashtukia uko nani umeenda wapi siju umeenda wapi ask for opinions that's fine but ukijipata situation kidogo hivi wezi make your own decisions that's a sign you've lost yourself you've lost your self, sense of identity you've lost your sense of thoughts you always if you care by yourself even the small things number 5 you pass up opportunities this is actually the last one you pass up opportunities for your partner say you have landed a job in the UN okay and they need you to travel to Addis okay to Addis Ababa but just because you are in a relationship you pass up that opportunity or for instance you have gained a scholarship to go to australia okay for further studies but since uko kwa relationship you pass up that opportunity the worst thing is the person you're in a relationship with does not encourage you to pursue it hakwambi you just go it's fine of course i know it's hard it's going to be hard because all of a sudden it's now a long distance relationship that i understand it's going to be difficult but if you're with someone that is not willing to push you to get better for you and him actually or for you and her then you have lost yourself so those are the five signs to look out for to know whether you've lost yourself in a relationship do you still uphold your values do you still uphold your morals do you still um do you still dream big do you still look at yourself and think you're going to be you're working towards being a better person in the future even if you are in a relationship a relationship is not supposed to just it's not supposed to take from you it's supposed to build up like mna buildiana you're supporting each other you're supporting each other towards achieving goals mm. i remember there's a time we were talking about we were talking we were, we had a we put up a video where i and, and some were talking about such things like you're supposed to 
encourage each other build each other encourage each other reach goal, work on your goals personally let him work on his goals personally way <laughs> personally and also work on your goals pampia pamoja isikuwa tu mlipatana side now you have you mna concentrate to easy goals then you want to build houses nini nini unasahau you need to get another a better job and him he needs to nini 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 mnafikiria tu hizi make sure that a relationship does not make you lose your identity and your self worth and your true self keep being Catherine let him keep being whoever he is okay keep being uh, keep being who <laughs> lina let the other guy keep being him be, keep, let him keep being him msifanye ikweni kama sasa hamko yourselves just because mume mumepotea kwa sababu ya love cause I, i was listening to someone say love is never enough okay love is never enough and anytime what if that love is cut short due to whatever circumstances natural occurrences or maybe breakups does it now mean you have to again go back to rebuilding the Catherine that was just because you left her along the way so you need to know that love is never enough you need to love yourself too atakama kwa kwa relationship ina kuanga tu bed of roses love yourself love yourself work on yourself don't never stop working on yourself you are a project when you work in progress in haita aisha and as i said earlier ni for it goes for both men and women even as a man do not lose yourself do not lose sight of your goals your dreams and ambitions okay and if you do you can always come back regroup ask yourself what you're doing wrong what you're doing what you're not doing at all and start doing it again ujijenge and make that thing work as you work on yourself too so guys yeah that uh, that's all i had for today i think on my next video i'll talk about that uh, issue or that sanitary towel thing and i hope you keep it here cuz my god you will love what i'm going to tell you but for today that's all i had if you loved this video please remember to give it a thumbs up uh subscribe to my channel i've been at 171 so long guys subscribe and uh, yeah hit that notification bell so that anytime i upload a video you get notified sooner than later so guys that's all i had and till next time bye bye